Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to finish the dual patch feed for the use with Q0100. Um, therefore we're going to mount a normal stock LMB onto the dual patch feed so we can transmit and receive with our feed. In this video I'm going to use a uh, cheap golden media GM201 LMB. These are sold for two to three euros uh, on the internet. And I'm going to show you some, some basic ways to mount the LMB onto the waveguide. The first thing I'm going to show you is to mount the LMB with its enclosure um, onto the waveguide by just drilling a hole in there. Um, this step will be needed for um, the normal fast mounting and also for the mounting with a nice 3D printed part I'm going to show you later. Um, for this you are going to need a step drill. Make sure that it is as rusty as mine and a normal cordless power drill or a power drill. Uh, the good thing with this enclosure here with the lid is that there is already a center mark. Um, this is from the um, fabrication process and therefore we just need to uh, apply the spot drill step drill not the spot drill uh, into there and drill it until the 22 millimeter diameter is reached um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, disassemble the LMB we need to take the cap out um, because the spot drill might be too the step drill might be too long that we damage um, the parts inside the LMB so I'd recommend you use some kind of flathead screwdriver and try to pry it open make sure to, to not break some parts here and this lid is kind of soft, but these are hard plastic, so try not to damage it. You can see here that the lid wa was glued on. Um, I'd recommend to apply some glue or some um, some sealant material later on so there doesn't get water inside it. When you have um, taken the lid off you can use your step drill and drill inside until you are at the 22 millimeter mark. Um, when you drill a hole like this um, I'd recommend you um, fixate the lid in in a vise or something that you don't um, hurt or damage your hand. Um, don't use gloves for this work because the step drill can easily um, catch on the glove and then it's going to hurt. I'm a professional so I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Um, you can see here that I haven't drilled it all the way to the finished diameter. Um, as I said, this is a very, very um, soft plastic, uh, almost like rubber. Um, I'm going to try to cut this um, overlapping material with a deburring tool. You also can use a normal cutter knife to do this and then 
I'm going to move on. As you can see here, the the waveguide fits in the the cap um, nicely. The diameter I've drilled is only 20 millimeters and not 22 millimeters, but this won't um, be a big problem here because, as I said, the material is very soft. Now you can. Um, mount this back together. You can put the cap onto the LMB again um, and I'd recommend you seal it onto it with some um, silicone glue or something and then you can move in the waveguide. Um, since the LMB has a, a tapered angle here in the inside, the waveguide will center itself. Um, make sure you you put an adapter from from 22 millimeters to 40 millimeters uh, on the waveguide before you do this. Um, because else you don't have um, something attached to fit it in the LMB holder. Uh, now you could uh, theoretically apply some glue or sealant here. Um, this is a nice fit and this should work for normal, normal um, uses. The next thing is something quite similar, um, a very basic step. Uh, you can use your LMB um, and unmount it. No, not unmount it, but put the, the, the housing, the plastic housing away. I use raw force here because I won't need the, the enclosure anymore for this. Now you have your LMB here. Um, notice that this part is where the electronics is in. It's sealed. I would not recommend to open this. Um, and now we are going to do something very basic. You can see here that before the, the square part um, begins and the tapered part in between there is a small section about five millimeters in width and we are going to cut the LMB here so that we can stick this part inside the waveguide. You can use a, an angle grinder with a cutting wheel um, or you can use a handsaw. I'm going to use the handsaw today. Uh, make sure that you cut in a straight line here. Don't get um, there on an angle and you might want to mount this into a vise to cut it. Okay, now that we've cut it, um, you can see here I got a little bit tilted in the side. That's no problem here. Uh, make sure when you cut it that the back part of the LMB is lifted up a bit so that the metal chips won't fall inside the LMB. Um, then you can use a file to deburr it at the outside and also at the inside. Um, if you have, you can also use a deburring tool so that you have a nice round edge. 
Um, now you can use your caliper and measure the diameter. As you can see here, we have um, 20 millimeters on this side and also, also 20.1 millimeters on this side. And if we measure the inner diameter of the waveguide, we have also 20 millimeters here. So normally this should go in. Um, since I've got a little bit um, uh, tilted and angle cut here, I'm going to file this part a bit down. Now, um, theoretically, this should fit in which it does. I've had, um, I've used different LMBs where I had to grind um, the outer diameter down a bit. Um, in this case, it fits nice. You can now also apply your adapter ring and you can cut the, the waveguide as short as you need it. And then, you can apply some epoxy glue here around or silicone here around and where the two parts meet and you have a fast job done. Here you can see an LMB I've mounted um, the way I described it. Um, it's not a very good looking job but it works. Um, you will probably notice that I have attached the feet not onto the waveguide but directly on the reflector. Um, I did this because um, the vocal point of my dish is way back here and when you attach it on the waveguide you um, get about here with the reflector. So this way it works a bit better for me. The last option I'm going to show you today is um, to use some nice 3D printed parts to attach the LMB to the um, dual patch feed. I'm using the design from Delta Mike for Delta Sierra. I'm going to put a link in the description and we are going to test it when we have printed it. Here are the finished parts. Um, you can see my printer is not set up um, correctly. I have a bit of um, overhang in the, the upper parts and also on the inside. I'm going to clean this now and then proceed with the assembly. As you've seen, I've had to grind away some of the notch here from the housing. Um, this adapter is designed for the Octagon LMB, but it works quite well with um, this Golden Media LMB too. Um, to mount it, you just have to um, fit the uh, feet into the LMB. Then you can press it in here a bit and then you have to put on the lid. Uh, there are 12 holes where you can put um, M3 
screws through it and a nut on the other side um, and with this you can okay this looks very nice um, it's a very nice uh, design you have enough space here to connect your um, end type connector and you have on the back side enough space to connect your um, F connector to the LMB uh, I'd recommend um, you use some type of sealant in between the the, the shells here uh, I'm not sure if it is 100% um, watertight. I'm pretty sure it is not. Um, maybe also in front of there and back there. You can also use or mount your 3D printed Redome. And there's also a design from DM4DS. Yeah, and that's basically it. These were the steps um, you can use to mount your LMB onto the patch feed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check out the designs from DM4DS on Thingiverse and I hope we meet on QO100 soon. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.